guys, I'm in Bortia Scoop, a private game reserve in Mosser Bay, South Africa. My name is Nyasha. I will be your guide this morning. All right. Uh, my task here is to take people out there in the field, look for animals, and then educate each and every individual about the bush field. We're gonna go right here, yeah? and then we're gonna go all the way to there. If you all the way there, it's difficult to say. <laughs> yeah, it's difficult. The horse is keeping. <laughs> but actually, if we teach the horse there too. <laughs> The elephants that we saw, the three adults, one was brought from Zimbabwe in 2003, then the other two, one was fro uh, brought from uh, a circus, and then the other one was brought from a zoo. Then the little one that we saw, it's a daughter to the uh, big elephant, the eldest of all the five elephants that we have in the reserve. Percent of that, 60% comes out undigested. It's completely nature. It's a warm day for the animals today. Bring your foot here for me. How does that feel? Ah, okay, great. Okay, let me do this side. Do the sides for me? How does it feel? Does it feel nice and even? Yes, it does. Can you stand up for me, please? Okay, good. Mm. How does the stairs feel, sir? Can you stand up for me? Okay, maybe a little bit long, make it a little bit shorter, maybe one or two. To enjoy this place, you have two options here. The first one is the day visitor that what we took. It's three hours the game reserve. And after that, a picnic basket with amazing food near the lake. And then you finish with a horse riding inside that game reserve. I'm actually probably excited to be there and see the giraffe and all the animals close to me. The giraffe, yes, as it is one of the mammals with a big heart, the heart that pumps minus or plus 40 liters of blood per minute. So you found close to the head, they have two valves like that stops especially the blood flow. So if the giraffe put his head on the ground for 20 or more minutes, the pressure of the blood flow from the big heart to the brains can easily break the membranes, mostly in the brains of a giraffe and that big mama can easily die from that. They carry a lot she's of the one away. in the valley. She doesn't want to scare her off because she's most more developed vulnerable. vulnerable. She's loving it. Find a way to get you off my mind. Let me try the talk. Um, 
moments in life? Yes. That you call them happiness? Yep. It's this one. Now, when you mean this one, you mean what? It's the picnic? It's the gang drive, the horse, or it's the wine? It's you! Me? Yeah. Wow, thank you! <laughs> It's the whole combination of them, All and I guess you, you need to treasure them. I was in a lot of private girl museums in South Africa, and this one is the biggest I saw. The part that I really, really loved, they let the animals to live in their own natural environment. So you see the lion, sometimes they can be like 600 meters from you, or the elephant, or the giraffe. We had luck, we saw them really close to us, but it's very important if you love animals to see them live like she's supposed to live. So sit a little bit more on your left side. Sit a little bit more on your left. Like left. this? Ah, this is the right. Okay. okay. So we are currently in uh, Botlishko Private Game Reserve. Uh, right there behind you we can see some rhino. Um, this game reserve is about 6,000 hectares big, located in the Western Cape. Um, we have the four of the big five here, rhino, elephant, and we also have some buffalo, okay, buffalo, um, and lion. <laughs> the only thing that we do, do not have is leopards, yet. Ah, leopards are fine. So leopards is too dangerous, leopards, I don't like. Yeah. Leopards, leopards do move around a lot, so you can't contain them in a game reserve. They can jump fences, move around a lot, so that's the biggest problem. They are pushed the rhinoceros because of the horn and then you find in the rhino horn there isn't much it's only covered with calcium, keratin and melanin so in some cultures, though I won't explain um, they believe in their rituals, they use it um, in their rituals so that's the main reason why they are pushed Yes baby, come on you can do it And the second is of course the guest house. When I saw them during the game drive, I was shocked because they're built on a mountain surrounded by nature and trees. And you actually can sit there, get out, drink coffee in your balcony and see the wild animals really close to you. But I have to warn you, it's pretty expensive. Me and my wife, we choose to sleep in Mosul Bay. It's 20 minutes drive from here. And still, this place is beautiful. Really recommended, especially for the day visitor.